Hi, I'm Antoy, and welcome to The Antoy Show. On this episode, Stella Young, a personal trainer and fitness expert, will teach one of our viewers healthy eating and lifestyle choices. Tonight we're here at Carol Casey's house and she has no idea, but we are about to completely change her life with a food makeover. Let's check it out. Hello. Carol. Stella. Miss Carol Casey. How are you? How are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. Very good to meet you. Thank you so Are you ready out. for this? I am so ready. I'm here to change your life. Come and show me those uh, those cupboards in the refrigerator. I want to see it all. Come on in. I'm excited to be here. And what I like to do usually with my clients is just kind of find out more about what your goals are and what you really want to accomplish. Because, you know, it's not just about exercise. Right. We have, that's 50%, of course, of, of, of the requirement. But the other 50% is what you actually put in your mouth. And it's not so much whether you are, you know, a skinny bean pole or a beautiful model or you're 100 pounds overweight. We have to really, you know, dive into what goes in your body because calories in or calories out. Do you drink coffee? Do you? I drink coffee every morning. That's that's a must. Yes. Have. Okay. Definitely. And I have like cereal, shredded wheat with blueberries. Do you put anything like in your coffee? Do you? This much sugar. Okay. And a little bit of cream. So you're eating your shredded wheat, so you're putting something in your system. Right, in the and I'll put nuts and berries and things like right. that. Do you do you drink coffee during the day? Do you drink sodas? What is your? No, I don't drink much coffee during the day. I drink. I try to drink tea during the day. Are you lively when you wake up and then you crash in the middle yeah, of the no, day? Yeah, no, I, I get I'm, I'm lively and then I crash. I go up and down. Yeah. And then I, I think I'm going to eat something and then I don't have time. Right. And I get busy and pretty soon it's six o'clock and it's time to go home and sure. then I, I get in my refrigerator and I'm like, popcorn. What about your cravings? I mean, I'm sure that there are moments because, you know, you're restricting yourself from so many calories that there's got to be moments where, and I want you to be fully honest, you know, donuts. there is, there is donuts. So what are your favorite things to eat? I like everything. I don't discriminate anything. So that's the problem. But what's I your love, favorite, favorite? I Come on, bread. girl. I love bread. Popcorn. <laughs> and we'll popcorn my favorite, obviously. No, I love bread. I could eat bread all day long. I could sure. eat bread and all of bread. Yes, Forever. yes. When you look in the mirror, are you happy with what you see? I'm happy when I have my clothes on. Right. But as soon as I strip down, I'm just horrified. Right. Yeah. I help people not only just change you from the outside, because this comes from a real place. It has to start within knowing who you are and believing in yourself. Yeah. So the first thing I need you to do is just believe in who you are and what you want to accomplish. And you know what? when we create this new nutrition plan for you, it's a lifestyle, it's not a diet. You're gonna enjoy this. This is just a part of your life. All right now, let's get right. down to business. Carol. The moment of truth. This is our moment here, let's see. Let's start here. Oh, what's this? Fire. What? I'm kidding. Actually, you know what, to be honest with you, we do want to make some different butter choices. I'm not gonna say butter is good, bad, but really like salted, pure butter. Probably not so much. That's so, good. trick number one: if you can't pronounce the ingredients, okay. not so much. Right. <laughs> you want to look for things with the least amount of ingredients. Right. Guess what the ingredients are in this peanut butter? Dry roasted peanuts. That's it. That's cute. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Forty-five that grams of sugar. I, I just want you to see that. that I know. I know. My guests when they come over at that. Yeah, that's what they all say. I'm kidding. <laughs> right here, mandarin oranges. They have 20 grams of sugar. What? They're soaked in are so much sure? sugar syrup. You can make fresh sangria. And yes. the ones that are packaged are always filled with lots and lots of sugar. Probably so. Lots and lots of sugar. Pretty bottle. You can make sugar-free sangria. Yeah, and that's, I can teach you sometime. We can do a non-fat sour cream, and it tastes just the same. And yeah. it's like 10 calories versus 60. Mm -hmm. We got pita breads. Yeah. Try to choose some whole wheat if you can. We got our yogurts here. 
Yeah, I mean, I would prefer, I would suggest like a Greek style yogurt. Mm -hmm. They come in really good flavors. They metabolize yeah, better. Yeah. You, okay, let's look in the freezer. Uh, lemonade, mm -hmm. a little artificial. Yes, it's artificial though. That's why God made us lemons to make lemonade. We don't need all these chemicals and 35 grams of sodium and 30 grams what? of sugar. So look at this. Oh, that okay, is yeah, gross. do not let things get this crystallized. That is so this is good stuff, good job. <sighs> How could you? For my guests, when they want to. It's okay, you're a cheat day, you're allowed. Let's move on to the cabinets. It's amazing how simple choices can improve your lives dramatically. Olive oil, oh, that's good, olive oil is good. It is probably one of the best. You want to remember to focus on the whole wheat, the brown rice pasta. Um, I know you're Italian, so you need to make sure that, you know, at least the pasta that you choose is enriched with 100% whole wheat. Oh my gosh, wait. I need a hammer. But it's organic. Feel that, wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put that over here. You might be able to use this as a weapon if somebody comes to your house. <laughs> Taco seasoning, yeah, perfect. Oh, you know, this is great. There's, you know, it's high in sodium, so never use the whole packet. Never. Honestly, just a little <laughs> sprinkle here, a little sprinkle there, a little salsa is better for flavor. And you can get fat free ground turkey, make some great tacos. You would think beans, oh, they're just, you know, they're so another good. grain, they're so yeah. good for you. But these in particular are tangy sauce with bacon and brown sugar. Oh, no, I not good at all. You, I would rather you go and you eat, you know, a burger that's wrapped in lettuce. Really? You know, absolutely. This is super high in sugar, super high. The sodium is 550 milligrams of sodium. That's a lot. Um, and, you know, the very, very first ingredient, remember that, the first ingredient that you read is the majority of what this is made of. And it says, yes, <laughs> prepared white beans, water, all right, brown sugar, Tomato paste, sugar, sugar again, salt and bacon and phosphate and sugar, and then the more sugar. And anyway, the sugar honestly turns into fat. It really does. It metabolizes in your body, um, not in a very good way. Anything that you really enjoy that's over 400, 330 milligrams of sodium, just water it down. Just add a little water. That's really the key. And you know, again, you know, a lot of your canned goods you gotta watch out for. They're, you know, the very they have hidden ingredients in there. Eight hundred and seventy milligrams of sodium. Yeah, and, and the sodium is, is is another danger when you have too much of it. So what you do if you like your canned goods, you just find the ones that say something like this. Light or less sodium or lower, you know. Lower sugar, it's like 60 calories, Weight Watchers, you know, that's fine. What we need to do now is try to educate you in what it takes to increase your energy level, keep you eating consistently through the day, four to six meals a day, so you speed up your metabolism. We need to help you make wise choices and have foods that are convenient for you. One of my favorite mottos is, if it's not in the house, we can't eat it. Basically, we got all the essential food groups here, our nice, beautiful food pyramid that we've created. Of course, we start off with the grains, mm -hmm. and we want to choose bread that is always 100% whole wheat. Right. You know, there is some hidden ingredients in, in lower cost items that are generic. So, you know, there are some brands, just remember, because they add sugar in them. Mm -hmm. So I say, you know, if you love, love bread, 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 I know you mentioned that. Bread. We have to make sure that you choose the right kind. Along with the grains, you know, you got your brown rice, your oatmeal. Mm -hmm. Oatmeal is a great source of energy. Um, and why we want these kind of carbohydrates, where they're more of a, a whole grain, is because they last in your system and they give you that right. substantial energy that lasts for the day and gives you that awesome workout, all right? And of course we've got our almonds and now we're going moving into the essential fats. Now I know everybody's afraid of the fats, you know, but you need fat to burn fat. Right. So it's very high in protein and it's got some very good amino acids. This is our olive oil. Which I love. Which I know you love. Now if we had this much olive oil, um, I would expect you to cook a whole turkey dinner, okay? A teaspoon is fine. Actually, the olive oil goes a long way. Oh, and then we've got some of the beans here and the, the different 
you know, kind of grains that are, you know, they're just fiber and it's really, yeah, really good for your body. Really Keeps everything moving and shaking. Um, which leads me to the vegetables. I want you to have these veggies in your life. Morning, noon, and night. You can do so much with vegetables. The trick that I like to recommend for my clients is making sure that when you come home from the store, just make it a routine. Come home, wash your veggies unless you're buying the bagged, you know, if you buy the bags that are microwavable, they're, they're really convenient. I think it's worth the money because convenience is the key. Absolutely. And if it's convenient Absolutely. for you, you're gonna eat healthier. I'm gonna do it. I want you to make sure that you have some veggies, some fruit, you got your carrot sticks, but you know, exactly. long uh, celery or carrot sticks in a big glass of water, grab them whenever. Oh, so when you go idea. to reach for those cookies or you go to reach for that cheese or something that's really, you know, convenient and tasty, you know what? Go for your celery and dip it in a ton of peanut butter or low or fat free ranch. It's or, so easy. And yeah, then, you know, we all need that munchy food. You know, just right. that munchy munchy when you're at work and everybody's eating the donuts. Well, bring your, you know, bring your veggies. Right. Be a good example. Now, rice cakes, we, I didn't see any. I love the rice cakes. You can get butter flavored, but there's, it's a little tricky. You have to make sure that the first ingredient is whole grain brown rice. Right. If you don't find it, you get the plain. You, spray your, you know, calorie free butter or the butter spread that butter sprinkle. Good. You can't go wrong with food. It's that beautiful. And beautiful. and there's another munchy food, you know. Make sure we wash them really good. Get your veggie wash. There's chemicals and you know little pesticides right. that Absolutely. are on here. And uh, now you got your lemons for your lemonade. I love lemonade. <laughs> another trick, when you smell it, it actually will help to reduce your stress. And when you squeeze it into your water, it, it spruces up your water and it also is a diuretic. And your your fat-free milk, very, fat very, free? very good. Yeah. Okay. You know what? We don't we don't need any additional fat. If there's a food that you are so in love with, I'm not gonna take that away from you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna help you make wiser choices. Right. Where you still are getting the comfort of that good food in moderation. It's modified as well and you can still enjoy you know, the foods yeah. that you like. So, if you'd like your own food makeover, or if you have questions for Stella, go to www.mangoseedproductions.com and send us an email. I'm Antoine Grant, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.